you're able to create multiple users on your affiliate account to control who has access to the control panel and so that you don't have to share the same credentials across multiple people. You can access this by going to settings and then user accounts. So from here, you can see a list of all current users. You can see I have two users on this account and there's a key down here at the bottom to see kind of over here in this overview, what permissions each user has. So if you wanna just scan and see, oh, which ones have access to commission reports, you can just look down the line for C. Now, if I wanna add a user, I've got a new employee, I want to have an account for them, I go to add user, and you get a simple form to fill out. So you have to give them a username, first and last name, and an email address, and if you'd like to add their title, you can do that as well. So let's fill that out. Okay, so now that their information's in there, I just need to decide what permissions and notifications they're going to use. So under permissions, there's some basic controls. I'll kind of go over each one quickly. Manage merchant accounts is what allows a user to access the list accounts page. So that's gonna be up here. You can list all of your merchant and sub-affiliate accounts and see information on them. This is also what you're going to need to be able to add merchants. So if this user is going to be adding merchants to the account, then they want to have this enabled. Similarly, manage affiliate accounts is the same thing, but for affiliates. Uh, this will give them access to see your sub affiliates on the list accounts page and board new sub affiliates. Edit sub affiliate fee schedules gives the user access to modifying the fees that your sub affiliates will pay. And so these would be the commissions paid up to you for any merchants processing under those sub affiliates. Access commission reports is exactly what it sounds like. There's a commissions page where you can see your commissions month by month in the control panel. It's gonna be under service prices. And to access that, you need the access commission reports permission. Access transaction reports is very similar. We have some reporting for transactions. If you wanna be able to see the transactions run by merchants under your account, the user will need that permission. Administrative user is an admin user. So this allows the user to make changes to the account. It allows them to access the settings page in the first place. If they don't have administrative permissions, they won't be able to access any account settings. Login as merchants and sub-affiliates is a feature that's on the list accounts page. So if you're looking at a merchant or sub-affiliate, next to each user, there's a login button. And from that login button, you can log in and see the account as that user. This is helpful for troubleshooting. This is helpful for kind of getting into a merchant account and doing something for them, changing a setting for them, whatever you need to do to make their lives easier. If you don't have this enabled, the user won't be able to do that. They'll be able to see what users are on a merchant or sub-affiliate, but they won't be able to log in as them. And finally, we have manage webhook configuration. And so affiliate webhooks are a feature that you can use, that you can use to access real-time notifications for events happening on merchant accounts underneath your account. And if this is unchecked, then the user will not be able to see that option in settings. So I'm going to enable a couple things. I want this user to be able to manage all accounts. I want them to edit fee schedules. They don't need to see commissions. They actually probably don't need to see transaction reports. I don't need them to be an admin user either. So I'm going to disable all those, but I do want them to be able to log in as merchants and they don't need access to webhooks. So we'll do that. And we're going to determine whether they can access release note emails. So this is a page in the control panel where we show release notes. A couple times a week we have releases and there's always notes for those to tell you what has changed. If you'd like to get those automatically delivered to your inbox, you can check this box and then you'll receive updates on what we've released. Finally, we have a temporary feature to control the control panel. So right now we are allowing you to toggle between our current interface, which you're seeing here, and our legacy interface. So if you uncheck this for the time being, the user will see the old interface. If you have it checked, they'll have this new one. So now that I know everything is correct, I'm going to go ahead and save changes, and this is going to trigger an email to be sent to this user. It'll be sent to the email address we have on file. So I'll do that now. So you can see the account was created and they have the permissions that I gave them when setting it up. The user will have an email in their inbox with a button they can click to create a password and get logged into their account for the first time.
Now, let's say I made a mistake. I wanted to actually give them transaction access because they need to be able to see reporting for merchants that they board. So I go into them and click access transaction reports. Of course, I can just save changes and there we go. So now they have T for transaction reports. There's two final things you can do on a user account. I'm gonna click into them one more time. And up here, we have the ability to reset the password for a user or to delete the user entirely. So if I delete the user, it's gonna ask me if I'm sure. And then I can say yes or no. I'm gonna say no and reset password. So if the user forgets their password, they can't get into their account and I wanna let them back in, I just hit reset password and we're gonna confirm, but it's basically going to undo their password right away. They'll get another welcome email and that email will let them create a new password for their account. All of these tools together give you a lot of control over what users can access in the account as well as giving you a good overview of all the employees working and what they have access to. And you can manage those really easily. You can delete users, you can reset their passwords for them to help them out. There's a lot of power here.